Let's denote a plus ib by the complex number z. Therefore, the conjugate of z is equal to a minus ib. Therefore, the absolute value of z is equal to square root of a square plus b square. Now, we are given the equation a plus ib raised to the power 2002 is equal to a minus ib. And this can be written as z raised to the power 2002 is equal to the conjugate of c. Now take the absolute value of both sides. We get the absolute value of z raised to the power 2002 is equal to the absolute value of the conjugate of z. Now the absolute value of the conjugate of z is equal to the absolute value of z and therefore this equation can be written as absolute value of z multiplied by in brackets absolute value of z raised to the power 2001 minus 1 is equal to 0. This implies that the absolute value of z is either equal to 0 or is equal to 1. In the first case, the absolute value of z is equal to 0 implies that the square root of a square plus b square is equal to 0, which implies that a square plus b square is equal to 0. Now the sum of the squares of two numbers is equal to 0 implies that both of those numbers must be equal to 0. And therefore, a is equal to 0 and b is equal to 0. Let's call this result 1. In the second case, we have absolute value of z is equal to 1. Let's call this result 2. Now we go back to the original equation, which can be written as z raised to the power 2002 is equal to the conjugate of z. Multiply both sides by z. This implies that z raised to the power 2003 is equal to z times the conjugate of z, which is equal to the square of the absolute value of z. But from result 2, we know that the right hand side is equal to 1, and therefore we have the equation z raised to the power 2003 is equal to 1. Note that this equation has 2003 solutions. none of which is z is equal to 0, which is the solution that we had obtained in result 1. Let's call this result 3. Therefore, from results 1 and 3, it follows that the given equation has 1 plus 2003 or 2004 distinct solutions. Or in other words, there are 2004 distinct pairs that satisfy the given equation. And this is the required result.